Hey, what's going on people and welcome back to another video. So as I've mentioned in my previous video, I, I do believe it was last night, update 7.1 will be out next week and the patch note is just out there right now. And we've got some interesting changes. The recoil bug apparently is going to be fixed. The visual recoil is going to be fixed on so many weapons, so many scopes, and we've got some other changes like having more rockets for rocket launchers. And all that is going to be basically available in update 7.1. Keep in mind that some of you might want to read the whole patch notes. And because of that, the link is down in the description. If you want, you can check that out as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you found the video helpful, the information was informative, do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because more like this is coming your way every single time that the news is out. So I just wanted to remind you about that as well. Without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So the patch note starts with some news that I've covered in my previous video, last night's video. If you haven't watched that video, I recommend you to go watch it. It's, it's going to pop up in the top right corner. Make sure to check that out as well. Uh, but it's just about Stadium making its return and about the roadmap for Season 7. And that's basically all that they want to talk about in the beginning of the patch note. But let's go ahead and take a look at the change log. It starts with visual weapon recoil. Visual weapon recoil improvements were introduced in season seven and through your feedback, it was clear there must be further refinement of this feature. Update 7.0.1 was a hotfix aimed at resolving some of the core issues, such as the interactions with the advances and as previously communicated, update 7.1 will include a white pass that will correct most of the player reported issues surrounding visual weapon recoil. Visual recoil on multiple weapons, sites in specific weapon and site combinations have been adjusted, including deviations of reticle to screen center uh, that is also called the recoil bug or the recoil issue, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it the crosshair bug. If you guys don't know about it, when you start shooting, um, the crosshair is not actually in the screen center uh, when the weapon starts to have some recoil that crosshair will be misaligned from your screen center so that is the problem that they're going to fix on the following weapons uh, we have some refinements of the visual recoil g428 bsvm svk vcar m39 emr was just a freaking nightmare to be honest p90 dm7 dxr1 rpt31 pkp ak5c M240B and Desert Eagle. We've got weapon sites as well receiving some of these refinements, uh, like the Ghost Hybrid, for example, K8 Holo, Cobra, Reflex, ACOG, and some more scopes. And that's all about visual recoil, but we've got some changes to some specific weapons as well. For example, the scope glint removed from the XM8 LMG ACOG, and some clipping issues on K30 uh, when using Fusion or DZ Holo sites is going to be fixed as well. But for AK5C, we have some interesting changes. Actually, we have some interesting changes for some specific weapons that we're going to go through one by one. We start with AK-5C. High power ammo uh, will have increased damage from 25 to 26 in under 50 meters. And hip fire recoil pattern changed to have less pull to the right. So yeah, I was kind of thinking that the hip fire was somehow odd on AK-5C. It appears that it had some pull to the right that is going to be fixed. On the STZ-3, uh, standard issue ammo will have increased dispersion by an average of 8%. And that is not a small number, to be honest. 8% for dispersion is a lot. Type 88 LMG uh, is going to have reduced recoil and dispersion by an average of 10%. That's a buff right there to the Type 88. And the AK-74U is going to have some changes as well. Starting accuracy increased by an average of 10%. Not bad. Horizontal recoil slightly increased. Rate of fire has also been adjusted from 650 to 675. So we have some 25 RPM rate of fire increased for the AKS-74U. And that's all the changes for specific weapons. But we have some shotgun improvements in this update as well. Update 7.1 introduces a collection of improvements that should now balance shotgun gameplay and provide further emphasis on engaging in tactical gunplay when choosing to use these weapons. There will now be more of a choice between relying on movement and agility to close up the gap to an enemy and use hip fire or pre-aiming down sights before turning corners and playing more tactically. This reduction in effectiveness of hip fire at medium range should notably improve balance in CQC focused areas and maps and require a higher level of skill to get the most out of shotguns. So to basically simplify everything that the passion was trying to convey, Shotguns will now have different dispersion 
aka different accuracy when you aim down sight and when you hip fire. So they are trying to decrease the effectiveness of hip firing in medium range and make you kind of ADS before you start engaging those targets at medium ranges for shotguns. So shotguns have had their pellet spread adjusted in hip fire and aiming down sights. Pellet spread will now be tighter when aiming down sights in most cases with the same spread as previous updates and slightly tighter in some cases but when shooting from the hip pellet spread will now be higher. Pellet spread will now differ between hip fire and aiming down sights as follows for each weapon. So as you guys know we have four shotguns in the game SCS 880, 12M Auto, the NVK S22 and the Super 500. So I'm just going to read the news for the 12M Auto just because it's more popular. So you guys can have an idea of what these changes are going to be. So for 12M Auto, default barrel, aim down sights is going to be same as update 7. However, hip fire will have 1.5 times horizontal spread, 1.3 times vertical spread compared to aim down sights. Now for shortened barrel, when aiming down sights, spread reduced from 1.5 times to 1.25 times compared to default barrel, hip fire, 1.5 times horizontal spread, 1.3 times vertical spread compared to ADS, and pellet spread on 12M auto will now also slightly increase when firing quickly. So if you start firing quickly, with the shortened barrel, you also have some more rate of fire, and that spread will slightly increase as well. So this was basically the concept of what they're trying to do. Your aim down sight spread is almost as same as before, but your hip fire spread is going to increase compared to when you aim down sights. So that's all there is to it. We have some changes to the specialists as well. Dump fire rocket launchers such as the recoilless M5 and the RPG will now benefit from an additional rocket. This change will also apply to Crawford's deep pockets trait. So if you guys play Crawford, you get two more rockets for these uh, dump fired rocket launchers, as DICE wants to call them, the M5 and the RPG. I do believe it's an interesting change. Maybe it can encourage some people to play engineer and go against tanks and armored vehicles. Because personally, when I play the game, I kind of feel like the team needs some more engineers, some more people with rocket launchers to deal with those tanks. But then again, I hope this change encourages some people to come and try being an anti-tank guy. Maybe they like it, you know? Also, uh, DICE is going to increase the size of anti-tank mines by 5-10% to 10 and raise them up to improve visibility. So those anti-tank mines are going to be easier to detect by those drivers right now. And that's about the specialists. And lastly, we've got vehicles. We don't have a lot to discuss about vehicles here. It's just some uh, minor changes about the RAM and Brawler. So EBLC RAM and the CEV Brawler should now have an easier time traversing over some obstacles. Also, an issue with the RAM's spawn beacon not functioning at times is going to be fixed. And fixed an issue which resulted in several armored vehicles having a misaligned crosshair. This was also a kind of an issue that was introduced by Season 7 and is going to be fixed. So, all about the update 7.1. I don't think it's that big of an update here. The patch note says it all. The patch note wasn't too big. It wasn't too shiny. The changes are definitely necessary, but they're nothing like too brilliant or anything. They're just trying to fix what they've broken, and that's all about it. The shotgun improvements are going to be interesting, I believe. And the recoil, the visual recoil refinement, uh, I don't know what to say about it, because I, I don't have any idea what they've done. Uh, we have to wait until April 16th and see what they've done, right? So if you have anything to say about the patch note, go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Also, if you have video ideas, I'll be all ears. You guys can comment down below and I'll make as much as videos as I possibly can with your related topics. So that's all about it. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it was helpful. Until next time, guys, stay cool.